everybody welcome back to my channel in today's video i want to share some more dressing rules i think everyone should learn so just like the other videos in this series here on my channel i use the word rules interchangeably with tips and if implemented regularly they can really help make getting dressed a lot easier so they take the guesswork out of things and allow you to enjoy the process a lot more so let's get started the first dressing rule that i want to talk about comes down to how you can match your shoes to the rest of your outfit so if you're anything like me, this has been kind of tricky over the years. I've heard different things, I've practiced different things, and ultimately I've figured out three basic ways to go about this that always work. So the first is to match your shoes to your hair. So if you can find a pair of shoes that are really close in color to your hair, it's going to work every time because your hair is always or almost always visible when you're wearing an outfit. So this is also really helpful if you have dark hair and specifically Specifically, if your hair is as dark as mine and it's basically almost black, a pair of black shoes is always a good choice. And then the second way that you can go about this is to match your shoes to your skin color and or the color of your pants, specifically if that line is gonna blend seamlessly into your shoes. So a pair of skin colored shoes is gonna really help lengthen things. They almost disappear. So depending on how far away someone is looking at you, it can look like your legs go on longer than they actually do. And then likewise, if you match the color of your shoes to the color of your pants, or or tights even I find that that works really well so for me since I have a lot of black shoes and a lot of black pants I like to go for a pair of black shoes that really uh, blend wonderfully into the bottom of the pants and it creates a gorgeous line and works every single time so then the third way that you can go about this is to match the color of your shoes to another color found within your outfit so this is really helpful if you want to wear a pop of color in your shoes and I think it looks so beautiful it's really takes everything up another level and adds a level of sophistication to your outfit that shows a really uh, great interest in color play and I find that a really beautiful way to get dressed so one of these three and you are bound to match your shoes to your outfit seamlessly every single time the next dressing rule that I want to talk about comes down to patterns and specifically the patterns found within your outfit and the size and the ultimate shapes that you should be going for so the traditional advice here is that it to avoid a pattern overwhelming you, you should keep it no larger than your fist. So if you're looking at a shirt and you hold your hand up, the main aspect of that print should be no bigger than the size of your fist. That keeps things relatively proportional to the rest of your outfit and then of course to you. Now I think you can take this a couple steps further to consider a few more things. So the next is going to be to match the shapes within that pattern to the shapes found within your face. So when you look at yourself specifically if you're not smiling and you're just standing straight in the mirror you're gonna see a series of shapes that make up your face you might see some points some rounded shapes some ovals maybe some heart shapes and if you can mimic those in the pattern of your clothing it's gonna blend seamlessly into your face every single time look really harmonious with you and your natural personality and essence and just look really beautiful the next dressing rule that I want to talk about comes down to color and specifically how you can use different colors to convey certain moods within your outfit. So I have a mini series on my channel about color. I've been talking about color combinations and then specifically highlighting individual colors, going into the meaning behind them and then how you can pair them with other colors in your closet. And as I've been playing with color more myself and then doing those videos, I figured out a really easy way to convey a certain mood based on any color that you want. So when we think of color and we think of maybe let's say blue, we typically think of a pretty neutral blue and one that lies moderately in the middle. And in my experience, that color tends to be pretty calm, pretty balanced and very easy to work with. And then as you darken that color, you increase the maturity, you increase the seriousness and you increase how grounded that color feels. So it becomes a really beautiful anchor color for your wardrobe. And then as you lighten it, you bring in a feeling of carefree, a lightness, an airiness, a slight etherealness, and a joyfulness. And by breaking each color into those three basic iterations, you can really match the intensity that you have within your own personality and then that you have within your wardrobe. So if you like things to feel really 
conservative and pretty moderate and very easy to look at, staying in the middle could be a good idea. If you want things to feel more serious and more grounded, going darker could be a good idea. And then if you want to lighten things up, bring some joy and some airiness, going lighter can be a really good idea. And last but not least is that the length of your thumb almost always equals your perfect heel height. So I did a video all about this using an equation that you can use to calculate your perfect heels. So that's going to make them comfortable for you so that if you do have to wear them and you have to be on your feet for quite a while, you can do so without being in a lot of pain. And I found that by doing that video and then comparing it a couple times with other people and then using it on myself, that it almost always correlates to the length of your thumb. So you can use this information to very quickly narrow in on some shoes that you can try on. So I really encourage you to experiment with this and maybe go to your closet and see if it works. Pick out your most comfortable pair of heels and then see if it's the length of your thumb because then you can use that information to find shoes quickly and then narrow in on a couple to really find your perfect pair. So like always, I hope that you liked these. I really enjoy making these videos and as I've learned these things over the last couple years. They've made my process a lot more enjoyable, so hopefully it does the same for you. And like always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Have a great day!